YouTube is stealing from me. Not just me. From anyone that makes videos on YouTube and isn't in the YouTube Partner Program, which is going to be a lot of people. Probably the majority of people that make YouTube videos. All of these people are being stolen from by YouTube. They're profiting off of our thoughts, our memories, our loved ones, our times with friends. They're just taking money from all of it. What do we see? Nothing. Let me explain here, okay? On June 1st, 2021, which was about three days ago. I don't know when this video is going up, though, so... June 1st, 2021, the terms of service of YouTube changed, and it just says... It just says here... YouTube has the right to monetize videos on its platform. And ads may appear on videos that are not part of in, on ads may appear on videos that are not in the partner program. And you know, this sounds like a super innocent statement, you know? It's their company, their website, they can do what they want. But the it's not it's not as innocent. L like while they host the website, you can say that they're contributing to to the video. They're not producing the videos. And yet, they're taking, they're saying that they have a right to all the profit from the videos. Which is not fair. That's not fair at all. They do not have a right to the profits to the videos. They have a right to a, like, percentage of the profit. But I think, like, the whole partner program needs to be rethought. People need to be able to, like, renegotiate their deal with YouTube. Get, like, better cuts. It's always a solid 45-55. Uh, deal if you're in the partner program or zero one hundred if you're not Anyway, my point is it's not fair at all That uh, some people could spend hours dozens of hours working on videos vi making video essays like I might have and Not being allowed to see any profits from that while YouTube can it, It's that's just not okay that's not okay at all. I don't. You could never convince me that that is an ethical decision that they have made. You see, the bar, the bar for for being able to make money on YouTube used to be really low. You know, you, you just all you had to do was have an email address, and then make an AdSense account with that email address, link it to your YouTube, and boom, you can make ad revenue. I did this in 2016 and actually made like two or three dollars. But then the next year, 2017, we get the YouTube's first ad apocalypse, and suddenly they want to uh, they want to make sure bad actors can't uh, can't make money off of videos. So like no more impersonation accounts or just straight up piracy. They uh, they 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 raise the bar so that people can't make money off of illegitimate content or hate speech. Yet the quality control, you know, and this is this was reasonable. You had to get ten thousand views in order to join the partner program, and then you can make money. And sure, that was reasonable. Ten thousand isn't too much. And then they'd still like manually check out your channel and stuff. It's pretty reasonable. Twenty eighteen, uh, they say that's not enough. So they raised the bar to where it is to where it is today. You need one thousand subscribers in 4,000 hours of watch time within the last year. Which is incredibly difficult to get. Incredibly. I don't know how anybody could get that high. I mean, um, of course, I, yeah, people can get that high if you get like a thousand views every day. Just like 20, 30 views on a 20 minute video every day for 365 days. Sure, sure. But it is really high. So it's very, you have to be like a sweat, committed 100% to YouTube. You know, it, it was still fair though, you know? They don't make money off of my videos, I don't make money off of my videos, we're both not making money, we both want me to succeed here. But now, they can make money off of my videos, while I can't make money off of my videos. They have no reason to want, like... Like before, like they want me to join the partner program so that... So that I can make money and so they can make money. Now they have no incentive whatsoever to help me reach that goal. In fact, me me making it that high would actually hurt them. It, would, it they they'd get less profits from my videos if I joined the partner program than if I didn't. So it's just it's 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 a really it's a really icky system when you think about it. They make money off of things that we make. And our 
financially disincentivized from helping us uh, reach a point where we can make money off of this. I'm going to keep repeating the same point over and over, that they're making money off of our production. And this is probably the most capitalist thing I've ever heard of, bro. Just there's no reason at all that they should be able to profit from stuff that they didn't make while stopping us from making profit off of it. Like, share the profit. Share the profit. I understand that there's a need for quality control and increased revenue. You know, the pandemic and stuff, they need more money or whatever. I don't buy that, but sure. So let's say that they're, they're strapped for cash. They need more money. Just lower the bar. Make it easier to join the partner program. And and keep keep it the way it was, you know? Don't make money off of unmonetized videos. Only make money off of people who are in the partner program. Just make it easier for people to join the partner program. So then you'd still... If more people are in the gr program, more people are making money, and more people are making money for you. So they're still, they'd still be making way more money. But they wouldn't be fucking assholes about it like they are right now. They wouldn't be just leeching off of our hard work. Point I want to make, this, this is me from the future. Editor me, I'm the future. Uh, okay. Another big point I want to make is that uh, the whole point of raising the bar to join the partner program was to make it so that people couldn't profit off of things like child porn, hate speech, plagiarism. But now with this system, only YouTube can profit off of it. Like, people are still profiting off of it. It's just YouTube Inc. You corporate, I don't know what they're calling themselves. I thought they were anti-child porn, hate speech, profit, all that. But they get to make profit off of that. I mean, sure, they, they, if you look back at the TOS, it says only brand-safe content would, would uh, have ads on it. But let's be real, they're going to roll out ads onto everything, and they're going to end up having ads on hate speech. They're going to end up having ads on everything else. It's, it's just it's just how it's going to be. So it kind of it, it kind of contradicts the whole purpose of quality control if they're still going to make money off of this. Like... They can still make money off of the things that they thought that people shouldn't be able to make money for. Yes, people are disincentivized to do this, but it's pretty fucking shitty to make money off of things that you think that people shouldn't be able to make money off of. Okay, back to present B. Usually, when you, you t when, usually when YouTube makes a stupid decision like this, you'd see like every single YouTuber on the trending page going off about how awful a decision this is, about how unfair this is to creators, about, you know, just the hypocrisy, the the terribleness of it all. But this time, I'm not seeing that same outrage from anyone. I don't, I don't watch traditional YouTubers so much anymore, but I really am not seeing the outrage. This should be the mo one of the most outraging things that... Uh, this is one of the most outraging things that YouTube has done, I think. One of the most outraging things they've done ever. And I'm not seeing the outrage. Like, people should be fucking upset about this. And I'm not seeing that. You should be fucking mad. If you or anyone you know makes YouTube videos, you should be mad on their behalf that they don't get money from it, but YouTube does. I thought, uh, I thought you see all the big creators speaking out against this you know and uh you know putting some public pressure on youtube to reverse this decision and find an alternate way of getting revenue and maybe that is happening i'm not seeing it but i'm just disappointed in the community right now that i'm not seeing it and again it, it might maybe maybe there is outrage everywhere but i'm not seeing it and it's it's upsetting that we're just letting this happen we're just letting them take advantage of the little guy and it's just it's depressing dude we're, we're we're just powerless to abuse from corporations like this and there's like one alternative you know this makes youtube a less appealing platform for for small creators so it makes it just a little bit easier for a new competitor to to rise up. 
You know, all they have to do is say, we support small creators, and then boom. More popular than YouTube. But, uh... I, I, st I don't see that happening. You need to have huge data servers in order to keep all the content up. You need to have huge programs to make sure that uh, that there's no DMCA violations, there's no COPPA violations. That, that software is bulky, dude. That is expensive. I don't think your mom and pop shop could ever uh, provide that service. So I I I don't think a small a small business could ever penetrate the market, at all. But the like Twitch Twitch ha has to have DMCA stuff built in because they do streaming. They don't do video streaming, as much. But they they have the systems that it takes to make a, a video streaming platform. So if anyone could make a viable competitor to YouTube, it'd be Twitch. And, I mean, that'd be kind of cool, but, I mean, it'd be cool to have a competitor to YouTube, but then again, Amazon is, like, the biggest corporation there is right now. It's not, it's, it's one of the biggest, I, I know that. I'll, I don't need to check which, if it's actually the biggest. Amazon is a super monopoly, and them having... Monopoly over the streaming game as well as the video str like live streaming game and video streaming game It just sounds a bit icky, you know, they they have they have retail covered delivery covered They have a huge competitor in uh, In like like actual shows and movies with prime video They they uh, like own the audiobook industry just entirely And, uh, as much as I want a competitor to YouTube, I'm not sure I want it to be from Amazon, but at this point, that might be... That <laughs> Daddy Bezos might be the only one that can save us now. <laughs> I, I... I always wanted to be a YouTuber. I don't really so much anymore. I am gonna keep posting videos, but I'd, I've accepted that I'm not gonna make money off of it. Just because they made the bar so fucking high. And right after, right after I decide I'm not gonna do it to make money, they're like, fuck you, we're gonna make money off these videos. But not you. You don't, you don't, you don't get to make money off of these. It's just a little kick in the face. They make it so fucking hard to make money off of these. And then they, they, they decide that they can make money off of it. You know what? You know what? We can make money off this. Not you, though. Not you. What did you do? Oh, you spent you spent 80 hours working on this video yesterday. Very, very interesting. But, uh, we, we made a website one time. So, yeah, we're gonna take all the money from that. It's, it's a bitch thing. It's a bitch thing. I'm, I'm, I've been talking in circles for like 10 minutes now. Uh, YouTube's a bitch. I want a competitor as soon as possible, and uh, yeah, that's about it this time. See ya!